Typo squatting is when a attacker maintains a website that is very similar in spelling to a real website. So here's an example we have dogfood.com. Okay, this is an online dog food store. A malicious attacker might decide to register, you know, dogfood.com or dogfood.com. And these are just ways in which an attacker is hoping that a real user types in and misspells dog food. So when they do that, instead of going to dogfood.com, they will instead go to dogfood.com. And the attacker might have dogfood.com look exactly like dogfood.com, but it's actually designed to steal credit card information or it's infested with malware. Uh, major sites like Amazon or uh, Google will already have registered these type of websites that are similar, that have similar spellings. And then when you navigate to the sites, you'll automatically be re redirected to the actual site. But for less uh, powerful companies or independent companies, this is a very effective tactic, especially for you know, words that are hard to spell in the first place or words that have similar foreign spelling. So uh, if you know, dog food might be spelled in a, in a foreign language, it might be more prevalent to spell dog food with one O or like a color.com. If you have English and American users, you might have color spelled C O L O U R as opposed to C O L O R and an attacker might register that C O L O U R domain name to try and get people who type in color and spell it in the traditional sense. So that's called typo squatting. And it's, it's another way in which attackers have found to exploit domain registration.